What is going on guys? Nameless here and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. This is the breakdown. We are doing Atlanta phase versus the London Royal Ravens and Express Search and Destroy. It came down to a map five here, Royal Ravens versus phase in an unexpected series that went all the way down to the wire and phase decided to play Express once again. Headed into this series, this was their worst map. Uh, they were either undefeated or at 500 on every other SD map in the game. But on this map, they are two and five. Even though it's their worst map, they've continued to play it because they want to improve on it. They bring in Tupac as their SD analyst, and they've been working on search a lot. And they're still having some struggles, but in this match in particular, they found some they found some success on this map. So let's jump into it and see what they did right. That's where we so we're seeing a all-out A push here on the side of phase, and then one guy B, sort of a blind counter. They clearly have been making a lot of adjustments on this map, and for Roy Ravens are sort of doing a mid push bomb carry inside the, the stairwell. I kind of like this play looking for a straggler mid zap spotted cell down low. So he's not going to take the fight. So I like this right here. So they didn't see anybody mid if you're a Royal Ravens. So they decided to move over and collapse on to B. So at this point, they either know that there's going to be a bunch of people at A or they're going to be stacked over at B. So you sort of lock down this middle of the map and then you have an option on where you want to go. So they decided they want to go be here after zap gives those jiggle. Those jiggle peaks over towards bottom air bottom elevator excuse me and they start to collapse so let's see how their teamwork here is the side of both so for Celium, you could see where the where the problem is with this strat Celium's alone here in elevator so once you get spotted by zap zap does a good job of playing his life and basically Celium screwed inside his elevator so what i would like to see Celium do is as soon as zap gives that shoulder and Celium's down here to back up to their side and try to get away but even then he still might not have enough time so you can see sort of the issue that phase has when they're stacking a like this if a team plays a strategy where they're going to go here and collapse on the b cell is pretty much screwed if he's by himself because even if you're over here you're in a very bad spot if they go towards the bomb so maybe a better spot for cell would be in the staircase here given looks backing up or the other option is for phase at a to collapse through mid and then take those challenges and hope for the best so let's see how they adapt here now that Celium got taken out and the positioning now lies in the advantage of royal ravens the Ravens here, they're not jumping the gun. They're not going for a plant. They know there's going to be players behind Selium shortly after, and that's exactly what happened. So Ravens are there. The trades go down. I would like to see Ravens group up there. They sort of got the kill, and you could tell that they were communicating on really what they wanted to do, and these players were left spread out. So you, when you get numbers, you always want to use your numbers, right? So group up, play together. They didn't use their numbers there. They got 3v2. Simple as that. So Ravens dropping the ball in that area of kills so i've seen a, a decent amount of mistakes so far it's just standard 2v2 like a gamble they wrap the bomb face commits to b doesn't see anything they're gonna cut through mid buddy system i like the way that they're playing i like the setup out of uh, roy ravens as well as long as nobody takes a crazy challenge this is pretty good this is a standard clutch spot that shawnee's in finds a bz gets the pick jumps out plays his life this is beautiful as phase was trying to set up the pinch there i didn't mind this play at all this really didn't go their way so mistakes made on the side of both teams yeah Standard round, couple mistakes made on the side of both teams. A's looking at A again, giving the A looks. Number six, the Celium playing the island. Ravens, two down low, one steps, one at A. This is the setup that I like. There we go. Get the information. Faye's doing a good job throwing these jiggles. London has started to group up over here, and I really like what they did. You have Paul up top, so he's able to give the, the covering shots down as Zap's able to inch up and basically playing that perfectly i mean phase will try to go for the plant i think you got to commit to it off the rip there when you see the guy in the back maybe get it down before zap can get there but other than that man like uh there's really not much phase can do there paul's hitting some good solid shots not allowing you to take an ego challenge Zap put, pushes on up i mean for selling him now it's it's about somebody has to make a play right so rsd is going to slide over towards bomb can't go for the plant though because they're outnumbered and they can get overwhelmed so somebody has to go for pick here and i think it has to be sell since rsd has a sub down low so you see so he's going up for this pick london doing a good job nobody's throwing their lives away they're even waiting for the minimap rotation shawnee gets a pick 
What number is Shawnee? Number three. So yeah, Shawnee gets picked from over here. He's playing down low at the bottom of the steps. So they have every single angle here, and Zap's done a great job playing his life. And that was beautiful out of Ravens. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful round. That blood is what lost the round for FaZe. You have to insta plant there, or you have to bait it out. And once you get the info that Paul's up there, you have to work a challenge onto him before you can plant. So FaZe, what we're working with this round, we see FaZe with an all-out A push here. Nope, Sally, I'm going to linger back once again. But yeah, so basically an all-out A push. Three down low. Let's see how they adapt this time. They learn. Yep, they learn. So like I said, you got to go for that instant plant. They're going for that instant plant. They even send a BZ out here getting aggressive into their room. That's the things you love to see. The BZ gets out. I would have liked to see him stay in that train, but he challenges out and dies. RCDs gets away with his life. But either way, you got bombed down. So you're in a decent spot here. Selium is locking down mid map. So it's on Simp and RCDs to win these gunfights. So I, would I, I need to see London push this out together. So they have two and three. Yeah, he realizes that Shawnee, that they're going to need a little bit of help there. So he pushes out with him. Simp wins a huge gunny and gets the two. So that's just big plays out of a big time player, Simp. The huge win. Now it's on to Alec and he gets two. Yep. So, I mean, that's just bomb plant positioning. Simp with the major two piece. That was just well played out uh, of those two guys. Uh, and the instant plant, man, it works. It works. Even if you lose a guy, it works. You know, good play. So, changing it up finally. You got two down low. So, you got Simp to help out sell him down low. And then you have RCs and Abizi going straight through the middle of the map with RCs giving them the cover fire. BZ gets through. They realize nothing's at B. So, they got all the information. This is sort of the stage one phase where they're just playing aggro, pushing up. We'll see if it pays off for them. So Shawnee is back here trying to play his life. Get a get a blood. I like this play out of London. You got to get bombed down now. This is where you get bombed down. You take their side, right? So you see London's taking their side. And Alec has to stay alive right there, but ends up falling. So now they are in a two versus three. If Alec stays alive there and plays his life in the far deep spawn, even slows them down for a little bit. This is a phase round one with ease. But instead, he dies. They're put in a tough spot. Selium's in a 1v2, and they end up losing the round. So London, done their research. They know how to play S&D. That was a great round. I mean, you get that, that kill in the back. Shawnee gets one kill and dies, calls everybody out. They take their side, plant the bomb. That's what you want to do. Beautiful. So sort of hopefully I'm painting the picture as to what needs to happen for these guys to win these rounds. Like you see, there's, there's a small margin for error in these rounds. These guys are playing great search. Little, little, little mistakes that are obviously 2020 in, in hindsight. All right, so down low, we're seeing all out B push, a spread out of London. Number four, that's that he needs to play his life here. That was a, sort of an over challenge. I think he was just trying to get one because he knew he was dead. But that's what happens if a team pushes all down low at B. Like you're just going to get screwed. So you have to set yourself up in positions to be able to evade, right? You don't want to ever get caught if they do end up all going B or you just insta die and lose round. So yeah, that's what happens, right? When you take that sort of gamble. You can just lose with ease. So Zed, they have to learn right there that either you commit with the Zed and try to trade out there and get a couple kills to make the round winnable, or you put Zed in a position where he can get away, right? So he plays the steps instead of down low where he can run away. So just a little bit of a strategic mistake out of London. And a free round win for FaZe. Like, and those are very frustrating to see if you're, if you're on FaZe. So, all right, here we go. Round number seven, we see... London with an all-out A push here. This is the same sort of strat that they did where they took their side. Instead, this time, Baze do a similar strat, but they're not committing as quickly to the flank. So they're going to look for Shawnee here. You can see. Shawnee sees one. This time, Shawnee says, I'm going to get out of here. Let's take their side, but I'm going to stay alive this time with you guys. They're getting that bomb down. We'll see if they decide to push through and try to overwhelm number five, which is Arsties. And they do. They kill him. They start to move over towards their side. So beautiful plays. This is great exactly what they want to do here they're completely countering phase and should be a free round win i mean two guys on the flank this is what happens when you flank like that and they identify it like london just read them like a book man and there it is that's round number seven yeah i mean like those tricks aren't gonna work phase you, you gotta switch it up i don't know what you guys are going over but that that's not it all right round number eight Let's see phase kicking into gear because i know they win this map i don't remember the individual strategies for each round but all right, so phase same thing. They're like, let's just bleed down low, bottom B. We have the gun skill to do it. Let's do it. This time, Zed doesn't push down low. Learned his lesson. Shawnee trying to play his life. Been doing a good job this map playing his life. So phase, they're all over B. And I like the strategy out of phase, to be honest, simply because they have amazing gun skill. And you can trade out. 
you can see Beasy goes in, gets taken out. Simps there for a trade. A little bit delayed, but works out. Kills him with a stun. He was so weak. That's what happens, man. They just have great gun skill down here. And when they're together, they can trade out and, and do anything. Selim getting some looks. And, you know, this is their round to win. Like, they're, they're set up right now. Simp. Like, why? <laughs> He just overthought it either way it's still 30 seconds of counting like is in such a good position you can just see like when they go b they just trade their gunfights like they're fine and and honestly they can default back to that if they need to and it's worked out for them this is gonna be the second round they won doing that and that's the round yeah i mean it's sort of that's a fail safe for phase where they can go back on it just works london two guys towards a phase have realized that that pitch and stuff isn't going to work they send a guy up top here to try to counter their strat and what happens perfect right like just use your gun skill fight them in one-on-one -on -one. stop all this pinch and stuff get in their face so phase adapt they, they they learn their lesson they get the kills and they back up to group up with their teammates so this is well played and now i mean you obviously know shawnee likes to play on the the flank right so you know where he's probably in his, his general location is going to be at so now the only unknown is zed and they're probably buddied up so phase are in a great spot to win this round there's, no, there's nothing they can do unless they win crazy gunfights. Yeah, they lose that round. All right. So, well played out of phase, learning their lesson. The adjustment came in, and it was that was beautiful. All right, let's see. So, round number 10. All right, so B's been working for them. So, like, yeah, let's go B again. And so, this time, they're sending Simp uh, on the other side of the map to sort of maybe make a play, get some info, or set up a rotation. Down low here is playing their gunfights, right? You got Selium, Simp, Abizi, and Arsties in a squad. Let's gun them. So Selium goes down, takes that first gunfight, wins it, gets inside the elevator, has all the information on the left. Put some shots down onto Shawnee. Meanwhile, the players are inching up towards that bomb, and Simp gets on a nice little flank here. So you can see, with them flooding towards B, it's now opened up situations like this, right? They flooded towards B. London is thinking we got to all be there together. And now this has opened up Simp being able to flank and make a play like this. That is how FaZe was running over teams in stage one is they were bullying you out and then you had to combat it fire with fire so you'd send your players there and then they would end up trapping you so now phase sort of getting back to that not overthinking themselves fighting those gunfights one-on-one -on -one in the trade flurries and then setting up traps later in the game that's the way phase needs to play snd i mean right here you just saw that's that worked for them once they made that adjustment the map fell into their hands and for london a few couple things they could have did better uh like i said with zed throwing his life away sitting down there he needs to have a position that he can evade or that they can collapse together as a squad uh, to be rather than losing a player early it'll just work out better but i hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown if you did make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe it allows me to make more of these man don't forget to turn those notifications on we're closing in on 76k subscribers but until next time guys peace oh they're all looking got three down